Do you want to add new fonts to InShot? Using iCloud Drive, it's simple. I can show you how. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. In my last video, I showed how to add music from other sources using iCloud Drive. You can do the same with fonts. Open a web browser on a computer and go to a website like defont.com. I'll leave the link to the site in the description. Once there, search for a font you'd like to use. Once you've found one, click on the download link. When you're looking for a font to use, remember it must be easier to read at smaller sizes. Otherwise, it won't look good if you add it to photos or videos. Keep that in mind. To download the font Varsity, click the download link. The file will begin to download. When it's finished, open your downloads folder. Locate the zipped file with the same name as the font you downloaded. Right click the file folder and choose extract all. Then choose Extract, here's the file that you need. Move to iCloud Drive and copy the extracted file onto iCloud Drive. Click on Upload then find the file and double click it. Wait for the file to upload. Once it's done, you can use it inside InShot. Let's go over to my phone and get started. The first thing you need to do is open the files app and find the font that you put on iCloud Drive. Tap the Varsity font and it will automatically download and open. When it does, tap the share icon. Swipe over and tap Copy to InShot. This option should be there by default. You'll then get a message that says Imported Successfully. Next, open a project and add some text. To change the font, tap the A icon and choose the font that you just downloaded, in my case, Varsity. Downloaded fonts should appear at the top of the list by default. Type the text that you want. Tap the check mark and then tap the share icon to save the image. Open the Photos app, then select the last image. The image I created has been saved to my iPhone and I can use it in any project I like. Here's the image I just saved. I hope this video was helpful. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below and I'll help you. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you liked the video. Please like and subscribe if you find this video is helpful. 
please feel free to check out some of my other videos on screen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.